Hello, you divine, infinite human beings. You are all that is, ever has been, and ever can be. Your divine, infinite love. Your divine, infinite source. Your divine, infinite truth. You have the power. Power, power, power. And don't let anyone trick you into believing you are not powerful and that you are creating your own reality, your own story, your own earth, moment by moment, breath by breath, thought by thought, action by action. And today in Italy, we've had five days of freedom, <laughs> slow freedom, ciao. Oh, oh. And uh, here also in the States, you're beginning to have that, which is a good thing and a bad thing. <laughs> of course, it's always good to have freedom, but it was given to us, you have to remember, and it can be taken away just as easily. And I, the one wonderful thing I loved, even though I started a group, no more lockdowns, just to have people get motivated and share and talk about the loss of freedom so they could realize it. Um, I think the lockdowns were probably the best thing that could have ever happened to this planet. It could be, depending on how people use it, it could be a way that people are finally waking up to the fact that there is a one world order that controls every aspect of your life if you let it. If you let it, I said, okay? It doesn't have to be that way. But right now, you know, and I've said this over and over again, whether it's happening, whether you're talking about China, Italy, US, Ireland, Norway, Brazil, the same thing is happening. People are told to stay home, stay safe. They're confined to their homes, or house arrest, or they have been. They've had to wear, now they still have to wear, I call them muzzle. Oh. And they, um, and and the only means of communication is on the internet, unless you, you know, and through phones. And I have seen, like I have never seen before in my lifetime, censorship that is criminal, that is ungodly, that is <laughs> just off the charts. And this is where they're herding the little fishies into the internet. And I, I want to say this so strongly. I've always been this way, okay? This is nothing new. It's just that people have started to listen because they're so confused. What's going on? Many people think this just came out of nowhere. And the truth is, it's been here all the time. This one world order prison matrix has been there all the time. It is just taking the final steps of complete and total tyrannical control over our planet, over our bodies, over our minds, and over our souls. That's what we're seeing. Now, the danger is, here I am, and in Italy, Italians have been so good, very good, good little boys and girls. I'm in Sicily, so everyone knows something's going on. They're not buying the pandemic anymore because, you know, Sicilians, they all know there's a one world order. They've lived under the mafia, but they've also learned because they've lived under, it's actually an old world order. I mean, Rome and the Roman Empire and the still Roman Catholic Empire is, you know, right here. So they've, they've learned how to adapt. They've learned how to bend lower. So they are doing everything they can because right now their livelihood is at stake. If, the, uh, if, if Italy remains closed this summer to outside tourists, we're gonna see not just pestilence, but famine because 
these people in Italy rely on tourism. It's their bread and butter and it trickles, the trickle down, it does trickle down because, you know, it's those hotels and restaurants and tourist guides and groups and tourists that bring their money and pump it into the economy that support everybody here in Italy. So they're being really, really good, wearing their masks, doing what they're told in hopes and prayers that the one world order will ease up enough to let them earn a living. Because life was pretty good compared to most countries here. You know, tourism is usually a fun industry, although it had gotten really kind of corrupted too. So. <laughs> now, me, I'm, you know, kind of an I'm a evangelist, if you haven't listened to my earlier videos, because I really, I guess this is my mission. It's just coming out of me. Sometimes I'm just surprised at myself, but... You know, my logos has always been infinite, infinite human, to remain human, but to be infinite. And I see very much that there is an old 3D earth, whatever you want to call it, I call it an old broken earth. And what we don't understand is that it was created. It's been, the structures have been put in place for eons, for a galactic year, for thousands and thousands and thousands of years our earth has been created to be what it is now and so every structure tell every everything from the inside out every thought you think <laughs> every relationship you have all the songs all the movies all the cultures all the traditions have been even the architecture of our very planet, and that goes deep, have been based on an off, finite, closed system that loops it on itself, a parasitic system in which we have been food, <laughs> food, Kiki wants to say hi to these Sicilian girls, but they don't like dogs in Sicily, <laughs> they're afraid. <laughs> Dogs. I don't know that. That's one thing I don't understand. Oops, now she's got... <laughs> okay. Well, they jocare. There's Kiki. That's what she does best. She hugs people's legs all the time. Kiki! 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 Okay, come on, Kiki. So, uh, something's very interesting, too, that I saw, and I'm going to upload it on the video. It just reminded me of... The other day, I saw a police car. There's a police car right there. And on the front of it, it said Polizia, was the picture of Sicily, and there was a tower with ra radi you know, rays coming out. I realized, oh my god, that's a 5G tower. This has been in the making for eons. And we are now, as I said many times, in a 5, 5G is just a tag word, you know, but it could be 6G, it could be 7G, and on and on and on, but it's a weapon. It does, it has so many functions and we are now encircled in it that's what the lockdown was all about that's why i'm muted even on my youtube channel i don't know if this will get out but i hope so <laughs> and that's why i'm uh, restricted my blog's been terminated etc cetera, etc cetera. so what's happening now is i i see it unfortunately some people are waking up to a point but then when they can go out and you know make some money get their gelato here have their hair done you know whatever get back get back to the old you know everyone's gonna want that for comfort which I understand but one the planet you're returning to is not the same and there really is going to be two choices that you're going to be faced with moment to moment one do you passively take the same old same old and just pretend not to feel the water getting hotter and hotter and realize you're not in a jacuzzi, you're being boiled alive. <laughs> and, you know, right, right now, I think a lot of Italians know there's 5G. Several mayors have said we won't accept it in our um, towns. And I saw another post that a friend sent me that a mayor said, we, uh, do, not, uh, our, we do not accept vaccinations, our, our, our you know inhabitants our townspeople do not have to take vaccinations so that's what they're doing again just trying to get the technology inside of you with metal tracking beams all that so they can do the 5g beam steering and silence you if they want to if you notice so many videos i've i saw this one pandemic video going around where a really intelligent 
caring, compassionate woman, I can identify with that, has been fighting this battle for 40 years and she's been silenced, threatened, had her career ruined, had financially devastated and she yet she keeps on because that's her job. She wrote a book about it and um, it's all about Dr. Fauci, I think his name is. I'm not in America so I don't do that crap, the television stuff. Thank God. It gives me a headache in any country because of the frequency so low in the conditioning. But you know, the lies that are being spun, the things that people are calling credentialed media, you know, people that all have their hair done nicely. <laughs> if anyone gets a chance, watch the movie They Live. Oh, that is such a good movie, but they still kept it on YouTube. But her videos deleted, my videos are deleted, everyone's getting edited which is nothing new. Look at the Bible. I know a lot of people are really into the Bible, but what you're looking at is edited and rewritten texts to create a story that they want you to believe and buy into. Come on, Keek. So, I'm gonna let her run here in the Rama. Is it beautiful here? I'm kind of glad the sun's been so bright the past couple of days. It's really sunny here, as you can tell from my tan. So anyway, um, what I've decided to do, since I've been so terribly blocked, I've done everything I can because I think we need to wake people up, but ultimately it is an inside job. It's up to you, it's up to each and every one of us to detach from the old broken world. And I see people, I can see them already, good people, spiritual people, people who get things done, you know, responsible people are gonna go up there, they're gonna see the skies, the air, and they're gonna say, great, let's really push this global climate change, whatever they're calling it now, warming. Warming didn't work because it didn't really get warm, but you know, all that, and save our planet, which is a good thing, except the problem is they the very people who are the movie stars who are behind it, the people who flew in their private jets here in Sicily in a summit for global warming just last August, supported by Facebook and Google, the very people who are censoring you, you know, you, you, you're getting your energy, your precious energy, and your good intentions misdirected. They're the same people, the elites behind the pyramids, behind the corporations that have been flooding our planet with plastic. They're the same people that have been fracking. They're the same people, this one world order that has had you closed inside your house, gagged, while they're placing these towers, the 5G towers that the whole planet responsible scientists, responsible doctors have cried out against. And because so many people did cry out against it, they came up with the pandemic to put it around when people couldn't protest, when people couldn't say, hey, what the heck's going on? And take those down, they can't, you know, they're up now. They won that first battle. And what everyone's afraid of now is because they've been testing it and they can have this pandemic anytime they want to now, anywhere they want to. And if you, that's the whole thing, I'm not going to get on my soapbox, this will be edited, uh, deleted too probably from YouTube, but <laughs> they won the battle. So now everyone's sheepishly going out, you know, they've got it turned down now so people aren't dying. You know, uh, but it's all, it's like having a machine gun in your bedroom. It's just sitting there poised, ready to strike whenever, if you go a little bit out of line. And a lot of people are like, well, that's okay. I'll just try to eke out a living and, and, and be a good little sheepo. Uh, well, I'm not like that. And is, there's face worse than death. I didn't come here to be a sheepo and neither did you. So that's what's going on. So the choices are being made. And what I've decided to do since, you know, I'm screaming to the rocks, <laughs> is focus my energy within the internet, the net, okay? And I'm gonna try to gather together to me and do what I do best, which is coaching, which is supporting, which is inspiring, which is helping people to see the bigger picture, but most of all, to empower you to come up with your own answers, your own plans, your own visions. Because I believe, I believe in God, 
I'm God, you're God. I believe God has a plan for all of us. And we are part of that plan. We are part of God. That's the problem. Not just praying and saying, God, God. I mean, I do that too. God help me. But not just praying and saying, God, 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 take this away. It, this is part of the journey. And that's the beauty of the dark side. If it doesn't kill you, it makes you stronger. And this is going to make us all stronger. And what I hope for you is that you will stop feeding into a system that's going to just get tighter and tighter and tighter around your neck if you're working if you're doing it i've been telling people for this forever if you're doing a job you hate just to get the money it's gonna get so bad i mean in that system you may have to put a chip inside of you just to get paid if you are you know still whatever way it's all an inside job so i don't know what way you are i know i have to go through myself every day a checklist to see where i'm still being pulled back into this broken third dimension little prison matrix because there is a way out if there wasn't a way out they would not be trying to muffle us they would not be trying so desperately to keep our frequencies down to keep us from uniting and of course my first plan and hope <laughs> as part of as a finger of God as a hand of God was that the whole planet would use this opportunity to arise and awaken and stand up you know and push this these elite one percent off the table and get up off their knees and take their freedom back David Icke's message always been my message and wouldn't that be wonderful to see might take a little bit more time I'm seeing, I'm sensing, you know, I'm every day's pivotal. So every day I'm hopeful, but if that is not the case and so many people return back into the mind control and eventually passively consent to becoming totally controlled mind program, not just as it is now from external conditioning, but by technology being inserted into the body and having the cloud, the iCloud, that blocks the sun <laughs> or the hive mind do the, do your thinking for you then so be it I mean that's their choice I've been trying to give them informed consent choice but I can't even give them that so if you hear that and if you if you feel like inside of your soul hell no then let, get in touch with me, okay? Because I'm going to start doing some stuff. I'm going to create some virtual um, intensives to help you really look inside yourself and purge anything that's really keeping you connected to the finite earth, the limitations of the finite earth, and keeps pulling you back into this prison matrix because it's an inside job first. And then once you're purged, because you have to be purged. I've learned that you have to free yourself. Otherwise, you've got some, you know, smart, uh, you know, dumb and industrious, as my spiritual teachers used to say. Don't be dumb and industrious. You want to be smart and lazy, if anything. So now I've been smart and lazy. Now I'm going to be smart and industrious because the times come. I can see. I have a job here, you know, I have a job at last and I've been kind of relaxing, napping and eating, taking my La Dolce Vita, but now it's time for me to go to work and my job is, and I've been trained for a long time, I call myself a divine storyteller, I also have a master's in mental health counseling and I've studied theater and film, so I'm, I'm and I've had a film school, so I'm kind of combining the two to help you write Take back the pen from someone else that's holding it and write your own story as the hand of God, as the fingers of God, as the fingerprints of God. Because you have a very unique fingerprint and you have a very, very unique story. And I love stories and I'd love to find out what yours is to help you unfold it. Because as I say every day, you're a piece of the puzzle and your story is the fabric, is part of the the threads that are weaving together this beautiful new earth that is free, independent, fifth dimensional earth that is taking us into a higher dimension and direction. And we need people who create things outside of this prison matrix from 
with their soul. Be creative from your soul because you have a divine creative sparkle inside of you. And all you have to do is give voice to it, give fingers to it, and the things that are going to manifest are amazing. So please come to my website, infinitehuman.com. Uh, send me an email, infinitehumanproductions.com. Comment below if you're interested. I will be offering this now during this pivotal time period so you can use this time to cleanse yourself from anything that will keep pulling you back into our new faux ascension timeline, <laughs> our, our, our fake reality, the prison matrix, and, and you have the answers of how to free yourself. And believe me, there's a plan here. God has a plan. All you have to do is get in touch with that God, infinite source inside of you. Listen to that voice. And I'm really good at doing that. I'm ready to be a mirror, to create a sacred space for you, and to create some unique exercises. And I'm going to be doing free Zoom um, happenings, too, through, uh, monthly, and starting groups and doing personal one-on-one -on -one coaching. So I'm going to be offering a lot of things. I feel called to do that. I think I'll be able to do that because I can't really protest. Of course, I will be continually, as you should, trying to wake others up. Love you all so much. Ciao from Italy. Ciao, ciao, ciao.